In India's relentless march towards progress, there was a critical element, telecommunications. However, with myriad roadblocks, telecommunication was in its infancy in the 80s. Before 1984, only a few foreign telecom companies enjoyed their monopoly in India. It thus created objective conditions by which the cost of setting up one line reached astronomical proportions. Only a single manufacturer for the entire telecom needs of the country manufacturing foreign technology. The result? Inadequate infrastructural support for business, governance and commerce. Even simple communication between loved ones was a laborious process. In such a scenario, the lack of indigenous technical capacity proved to be a handicap in the process of development and foreign players did not have solutions for rural India. India's telecom footprint remained limited. Progress suffered. Then came 1984. A year that will forever be etched in gold in the annals of India's progress. CDOT was born. Established as an autonomous telecom research and development organization under the Societies Act, CDOT was set up to develop indigenous state-of-the-art technology for manufacturing digital switching systems. With its out-of-the-box thinking, CDOT changed the face of telecom sector in India. It was largely due to CDOT's efforts that India became self-reliant in telecommunication. CDOT's history is a chronicle full of proud achievements. Within five months of its establishment, CDOT inaugurated its 128 port PABX. In 1986, CDOT installed the country's first 128 port rural automatic exchange, RACS, at Kitur in Karnataka. Designed to operate without air conditioning and withstand extreme temperatures, high humidity and dust, RACS was a cost-effective solution to India's requirement of a small switch. In 1989, CDOT added another feather in its cap, modular and easily scalable in architecture. CDOT's MAX went into commercial service in 1989 at Alsur in Bangalore with a 10,000 lines capacity. The MAX program evolved even further and in 1995, CDOT inaugurated its state-of-the-art MAX XL. The cumulative impact of the RAX and the MAX was profound. Teledensity shot up. Communication became easy. STD booths dotted the countryside and street corners in the cities. India's telecommunications revolution had reached its moment of truth. However, in 1991, globalization posed serious challenges for CDOT. Entry of the MNCs altered the demand conditions for products and services. The market became flooded with private service providers catering to the demands of both private and public sector telecom players. To overcome these challenges, CDOT charted a new course. From pure digital switching products, CDOT diversified into multiple products. These were 6RU10, Short Distance Wireless Communication, TDMA PMP, OLTE, FAS, Satellite Communication, Synchronous Digital Hierarchy, STM1, and Asynchronous Transfer Mode, ATM Switch. Over and above this, a mobile communication commercial pilot, IMPCS, was underway. To minimize the time to market, C 
CDOT also partnered with Academia and SA Joint Ventures, Tech Tie-Ups and value-added services on bought-out platforms. In 1997, CDOT broke new grounds by introducing intelligent network in the country. Developed on bought-out platforms along with the digital switching systems, IM was the first such service in the PSTN network. While developing various products, CDOT continued to upgrade and enhance the features of Max. CDOT also ventured into an ASP model with Data Clearing House to facilitate revenue sharing amongst service providers. It also developed and successfully implemented CNMS for the largest PSTN service provider in India. Though CDOT was largely successful in these endeavors, the efforts did not bear the hallmark of complete indigenization, which was integral to CDOT's philosophy. The changing dynamics of the market necessitated the adaptation to changing realities. In order to make that happen, CDOT has realigned itself to meet the demands of the future. Product portfolio is rationalized with more emphasis on processes. It has divided its focus into projects of national and strategic importance, high technology projects and software intensive telecom solutions. Projects of national and strategic importance include SG RAM for rural areas, Max NG for Northeast region, CMS for telecom security and ATM and broadband applications for defense. High technology projects include next generation networks and services and GPON. Software intensive telecom solutions include network management systems and data clearing house for mobile roaming solutions. While CDOT will be focused in these three major areas, it will continue to support its existing customers. CDOT's journey into the future generation of high technology area will continue with its research and development of cognitive radio, one number, advanced fiber optics and more. After 25 years, CDOT isn't content on resting on its laurels. In fact, with new technical challenges, engineers at CDOT are all set to rededicate themselves to the service of the nation. CDOT, ahead of its 25 years of proud history, lies the unbounded promise of a glorious future. Marching forward to meet future challenges.